Welcome to my channel. I am so excited that you're here and today I'm sharing with you the dirt on acesulfame potassium. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so excited that you're here. I am going to share with you today the dirt on acesulfame potassium. And that is our first red flag that I can hardly pronounce it. If you can't pronounce it, probably best to avoid it. So we are gonna call it ACE-K because that is another name for this bad ingredient and it's easier for me to pronounce. I have a, my blog linked in the description below and that will share with you uh, all of the terms that this ingredient goes by. First of all, what is it? ACE-K is an artificial sweetener that is 200 times sweeter than sugar. Wow. So it's made by transforming acetoacic acid and combining with potassium to make a crystalline sweetener. That sounds like a chemical process and that's not what I'm looking for here. And that's exactly why I'm sharing with you today why this ingredient is bad. So if you've been around me for a while, you know that I am not a fan of art artificial sweeteners. While they're not the end of the world and they're okay once in a while, they are in so many ingredients that before you know it, you've had five meals and every single one has had an artificial ingredient in it. And that's why I'm not about it. This ingredient is in over 4,000 products. That's crazy. crazy. You can find it in many sugar-free diet, low calorie options like cookies and cakes and diet sodas. One of the other bad things about this ingredient, ASK, is that it's often blended with other artificial sweeteners to give it a more pleasant flavor. So not only are you having just ASK, you're now you're having other artificial sweeteners just in that one cup of coffee. So let's talk about why it's bad. First of all, it's a modified ingredient. Anything modified or artificial or synthetic has been specifically modified to improve taste and reduce calories. And it's just a fake ingredient. And when you start putting those things into our bodies, we are getting negative side effects like headaches or even migraines. Some are even linked to cancer. There have been a lot of tests on this ingredient with some conflicting information, but one of the many studies that I read was done in the 70s, and this um, ACE-K ingredient was linked to cancer in rats, which is kind of scary. I don't want to have any kind of ingredient like that. So one of the other very scary effects of this ingredient is it's shown to create thyroid damage. So this is happening because of, I have to look at it because I can't even pronounce it again, acetoacetamine. What the heck? So that is produced when the ACE-K breaks down. So while this ingredient itself is not terrible, it's breaking down into other things which is causing severe damage to our bodies. We want to know how do we avoid it? Well, there's 4,000 ingredients, so, or there's 4,000 products that have this ingredient, so it's kind of hard. So we have to be vigilant, active, label readers. So some other names that this ingredient can be hiding under, besides this full name is ACE-K, acesulfame K, along with E950, or in Europe, it could be under the name of Sunet or Sweet One. I'm really not surprised as that this ingredient has other names because as consumers become more educated and the food manufacturers know that we know more, they're not changing the ingredients. They're just hiding them under other under names. So we have to always keep up to know what's coming next. Basically, as with all these other ingredients on our dirty list, is you know, knowing is half the battle. That's the first thing. You have to know it's bad and why. And then you can make an informed decision on it on if you should avoid it or when, or maybe you avoid it 95% of the time and you go for that cookie once in a while, which that's okay. Moderation is important. So if you are wondering of other ways to sweeten meals or coffee or cakes, real sugar, go for the real stuff. It's not that bad, again, in moderation. Some other better options would be like coconut sugar, maple syrup, honey, or even monk fruit are really great options to sweeten your meals. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm so glad that you're here. If you have questions or comments, please let me know in the comments below. I am excited and happy to help you. In the description box below, you will find more information and the link to the blog post on this ingredient. I am so excited that you're here and I'm just so excited. So stay tuned and I will see you in my next video. Stay awesome.